You know, I guess we, we lucked out this time again. Uh, we lucked out with Richard Reed who tried to set his shoes on fire. You may recall that. That's why you take your shoes off at the airport. Um, but, you know, this guy was, he was a lone individual. He was poorly planned, poorly executed, and he failed, you know. Thank goodness. Um, but, you know, it's, I guess, it serves him as, as an occasion for you to just, you know, hammer on Obama some more. Um, I don't know what you would do differently. I mean, you, you rant as though we're supposed to know what it is he's doing wrong. You say he's soft on terrorism. Well, I don't think so. I certainly don't get that impression. I think, if anything, he's pursuing some of the same mistaken policies by going in in Afghanistan. I mean, that was what Bush did, right? We had an attack on American soil in 9-11. Go attack some other country, you know, just go to where the terrorists are. I, th I think Obama's pursuing the same policies as Bush did and in going into Afghanistan. Uh, I don't think it's going to help at all. I think it's it's good, just going to antagonize the Muslim world more. But but what would you have him do differently? You, you claim he's soft on terrorism. How? How? You know, most people concur that a lot of the Bush policies, going in and just blowing up things in Iraq and Afghanistan, particularly in Iraq, did nothing but fuel recruitment for Al-Qaeda and other terrorist organizations. Abu Ghraib, all the horrors of war do nothing but fuel the resistance. They want us out. It's as simple as that. And I don't know what you would have, have them do differently. And that's, that's the biggest piece that's missing for me. What, what do you think should be done? Because that we can talk about. But if you're just going to hammer Obama because he's quote-unquote weak on terrorism without telling us what you would do differently, I, I don't know how we're supposed to argue with that. So, anyways, that's all for now.